everybody. I'm Bree the Plant Lady. And I'm Aiden. And today we are finally taking on the first garden installation at the next door property. So, we've been avoiding it because for one thing, we don't have a sod cutter. We need to rent one. We haven't gotten irrigation installed. I need to get up with the landscaper. But we decided that this bed is the right place to start. And what Aiden is raking out right now is just the kind of decomposing remains of the cool season grains. So specifically the root balls of the barley that were growing in the live wall, and then the root balls of all the grains that were in the container cool season grain experiment. So we've dumped all that stuff here. He's just sort of raking it out evenly and we are going to actually top dress and fill this bed up with sand. The reason we're doing that is because the goal is to plant native perennials in here and they need to be in leaner soil so that they don't get super tall and flop all over the place, which is precisely the situation that happens in my garden because I've been enriching the soil for the last decade because of my integrating vegetables into the plantings. So we're going about this bed specifically in a different way than I usually do, simply to make it so that the perennials that get planted in here behave in their greatest capacity. Now, it's already like 90 something degrees. It's really humid. If you see us pass out, call 911. <laughs> we're gonna take it in stride, but the goal is to get the one yard of sand completely empty because Aiden has started a lawn maintenance business in his neighborhood and he might need the trailer this weekend to move his lawnmower around. So we need to get it emptied with the sand so that it will be accessible for him to use. So stay tuned for our progress. All right, well that went pretty fast Aiden. Sure did. Thanks for your help. Of so it's the first of many yards as you can see, not only are we needing this for the planting bed, but we have a pretty significant gate uh, grade change from where the driveway was poured. And it's gonna be a process. Both sides of the driveway need it all the way down. And this far side needs it a lot because you see it's really quite steep and I'd hate for a guest to accidentally pull off the driveway and, you know, do something to their car. And so here we've got more than half of this bed filled. I don't think we'll plant until we get the whole thing done. Which will probably be in a few weeks because I'm out of town next week. Then Aiden is out of town the week after. And then you start school. Yeah, in two weeks. Oh my God. So where did the summer go, you guys? But just so you can see, we've done you know, several inches. And again, we're going with sand because uh, first of all, it won't decompose like compost will and make the bed shrink. Uh, but also because it'll be low in nutrients and it'll allow the native perennials to grow with uh, some restraint. <laughs> One more yard. Yep, one more yard will finish this bed and give us some to get started going up the driveway. I'm anticipating this being a project that takes a while. Yeah. I don't want it to be torture. The good thing is we've got the house rented through uh, September, through the end of September. So it doesn't really matter the pace that we work at as long as we aren't disturbing uh, the renter. It's just the most important thing. So, you know, I think we'll have this done yeah, sometime this fall. Yeah. We're setting our expectations really low. But this was quick. Cool. So I'm not feeling as intimidated as I was first thing this morning. And maybe it'll be cooler in, in a few weeks. <laughs> Probably not. Well, be sure to subscribe and like. Um, so that you can stay tuned as we continue to make progress, breaking ground on the brand new property. Uh, though I had the goal of getting this done in like May and June, definitely shifted that to November, December, 
So it'll be really great to be able to show you how to do the cottage garden displays from direct seating in a brand new space. Um, hopefully that will be you know, useful information for any of you that are starting new gardens or have a garden that doesn't have a great soil profile. And thanks as always for watching our videos. We look forward to sharing more updates. Take care, everybody.